In this short video, we're going to look how you can embed YouTube videos into your Gorilla experiments. This could be for using as stimuli, or you might have made a pre-made video that you want to show your participants. To start embedding a YouTube video, so assuming you've got a uh, Gorilla open, what we're going to need is a questionnaire component. So this is where it'll work best, and what we need is the rich text widget of a questionnaire component. So once you're on your project page, you'll need a questionnaire component. So I've made just one for this demo. So if we click on here, so for a blank questionnaire component, or if you're adding an extra widget just to add a YouTube video in, what we need to do is add the widget here, click on the rich text option. So the first one right at the top and click create. And this gives us a box here, which tells us that we can use Markdown, which is a simple um, kind of coding language that you can use to uh, give text certain properties. So for example, if I just put sample, if I surround it with stars or, or asterisks, you can uh, turn it into uh, italics. If you start it with uh, one hash, it turns it into a heading. So it's used uh, to format your text. But what it can also do is accept HTML code. Uh, so this is what web pages use to um, be rendered in the background, so the code behind it. And we can use this uh, to embed YouTube videos. So assuming that you know what YouTube video you want to embed, so if we want to play a prank on our participants and show them a Rick Astley video, um, from YouTube, what we need to do is click on share for whichever video you want to embed. So there's these options that you can embed, uh, that you can show on different social media platforms, but what we need is the embed option. So clicking on here, and we can edit some different options. So we can set the width and height in the code. We can get it to start at a specific point. So if you just wanted it to start, say, 10 or 20 seconds in, you could do that. But what we need to do is just click on here and it will highlight all of the code. Click copy and it will save it to our clipboard. And if we go off here, go back to Gorilla. And if we just paste this, it will show us that the video is being embedded in the live preview on the right hand side. So this shows that it's working, it knows it's there, and we could click on that, make sure it's working. But you also probably want to have some instructions, so you don't just need to have video, you can also include text. So we could just go um, watch this video, obviously in your experiment it'd be a little bit more informative, but you can both have this widget, you can have other questions there as well. So you can really play around with to see what you need for your own experiment. So this looks fine, but just to see what it will look like to participants, what we can do is preview the questionnaire. So if we click preview and launch, this is the page that all the participants will see. So they get on this page, they will see the YouTube video embedded in. You can provide with instructions, say watch this video before you continue on to the next page and they can click to watch a video on their computer, on their mobile, whichever browser they're using. And you can use this as a really engaging way to either um, show them different stimuli, provide them with visual instructions on the task they're going to complete. So you can use it in any which way you want to really um, make your experiments more engaging in Gorilla.